Welcome back. We didn't get the day started. We had to go to Home Depot real quick. But now I'm heading down to the lair to do the shipping. So why don't you just come with me here? I gotta unlock this bad boy because we have a baby. Alright. We just, just got carpeting in here yesterday. So we're putting a whole new room in the basement so we're picking out stuff and my son's room will be right down there but let's head on down all right i got the bubble ready oh man and that'll be his room still not done but you get the gist and this is the lair excuse the mess we had to since we're building him a room half my business area got moved here, so it's all the stuff there, blah, blah 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 blah, and then more stuff on that side, which is more construction stuff, and yada yada yada. But you get the gist some sunglasses. All right, all right, I'm gonna go find the stuff, and then I'll come back and walk you through what the hell, what I'm doing. So I know it is really dark, but I just put a pair of pants in this one, and now I've got to wrap up these guys as a set of eight whiskey cups. Let's get that done. Really wish I had a better place to buy bubble wrap. You know, you guys do. I tend to buy it from Home Depot because it's convenient. But this has gone up in price almost by double. So, all right. You know, people complain about shipping glass stuff, but it's really not that difficult. As long as you just take a little bit of time, spend a little bit of money on the bubble wrap, it's gonna get there. And I spent about a dollar a piece on these glasses, I believe, and the set of them sold for $109. So I basically made $100 just on these guys. And as you see, it's not that big of a deal. I just take some, what is that, uh, shrink wrap. Shrink wrap all the cups together so they're nice and tight so they're not moving around. And then these two things of bubble wrap. Tape down the edges. Get this guy away. And then I'll hit it with just a little bit of the bigger bubble wrap once or twice around. And be good to go. And we'll get two of these boxes and Frankenstein them together. This is USPS free material, so use them. One piece of tape. And into the box they go. Alright, as you see, I only got one outlet there, that's for the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi, and then I just have to switch over that's uh the printer, which is this brother printer, which is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that thing has been kicking around for years now. So I got some of my artwork over there. Again, this place is just smashed with stuff. Like, you know, we we're doing the whole renovation down there, so just like tons of stuff. I'm gonna take down all these guys here and then put them all in their own bins, and so I'll be able to line all the bins because the bins just save so much space. You know, you can add so much stuff to each bin. You know, each bin can hold, I don't know, but I've, I'm sure I've got easily 70 pounds in some of these bins, just of just random things, you know. And then I've got all these bins down here, so plenty of bins. All right, I'm gonna grab these guys, I'm gonna head upstairs to finish out the shipping. All right, so now that we got everything printed out, I'm going to pull up on here, where everything's going see here I'll print, see where everything's going so then it's really easy because it just basically goes in order so I take my labels boom, 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 put that over there the labels and then we'll just cut this guy up right down the middle and then basically it just goes in order alternating from left to right 
as far as what's sold. So let's first start off with the first one. So the easiest way to do this is just take this and then what I'll do is I'll take the label. So this one's going to boom, that's the person right there. And I just throw it on just like this. I'll tape it up and then I'll uh, you know, put the item into a little thing like this and then stick it in there and it's good to go. So this first one. What's up, dude? What are you doing? Oh, you don't want to play with that. It's your sister. Quick and painless. Boom, boom, boom. This one here is an antique pearl gold filled necklace. And it's heading off to New Haven, Kentucky. So, they're already, everything I have is already pre bagged. They're all in bags, so all I have to do is just a little twist like this. Throw it in there. Boom. All right, next up is that guy. Oh, let's take him. This is the one that we shipped up downstairs. Boom. We'll just take the label. Hi, dude, dude. All right, and that is good to go. Right. Next one is yeah. <laughs> Next one is some sterling earrings. And where's this one going? Third one done. Next, oh, this one's cool. So I bought this the other day. Yeah. This is a Joan Rivers butterfly. And Joan Rivers sells very well. It sold for $47.60. Not bad for a little butterfly. I bought that just the other day on one of the other videos. So you can check that out if you'd like. Yeah. So the rest of the day, we're going to try to take pictures while we still have some sunlight. I know. And as long as he can remain cool and let me get some work done, but he's got kind of a cold it seems like, so I don't know how long he's gonna remain cool and not losing his mind. I know. I know. So, but that's the plan for the rest of the day. And we'll see how much we get done, but I, I got a lot of stuff to list, so. All right, this is a little, I've had this for a long time. Yeah, thanks, dude. It's a Datsun lapel pin. Thanks, dude. Let's put that one over there. And this one is going to, let's see. Sometimes the names, oh, yeah, the name does match up. But sometimes the name doesn't match up because someone will get married or something. Or for whatever reason, I don't really know. But then it's just easy just to like look at the last four digits of the track number. And away you go. But if you just keep them all in order, you look at what sells, it's so much easier to do it this way. I went years shipping and printing out individually, and that was such a waste of paper. Such a waste of paper. This works so much better. Okay. Let's see, we got the next one. Is this guy? I'll bless you. And who's this one going to? Um, okay, this one is going to Appleton, Wisconsin. This is not too far away from here. And then the last one is the pants. These are going to Rhode Island. Okay, and that concludes the shipping for the day. We shipped out, let's see, seven things? No, six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Six things, two items we paid for, including a pair of broken Fendi earrings. But generally, that's pretty typical on a Friday because people get paid on Fridays. So I'm assuming that she'll probably pay later on today. But we'll see. Oh, wait, hold on. We got another one here. So two, four, six, seven. Seven things. All right. Um, I'm going to go scoot on over, move my laptop over there, and then we'll try to do some pictures. We'll see. All right, so I got about an hour before I have to make lunch. So I'm gonna sit over here and try to do some listing. And here's what we got going on. If you don't know, 
That will change your life forever as far as listing goes. So this guy is just a little light box. We got an Amazon for I think like 30 bucks. It comes with a bunch of these different, see down here, over here. Whoa! It comes with a bunch of these uh, backgrounds. I only use white and black primarily. This one I use for videos, you guys seen that one. And, but I'll tell you what, man, it changes the way that you will do your photography for this stuff. So again, this thing will change the way that you do your listings. So normally, oh, I got a black mark in there. That's what it looks like. Let's turn the power on and see what we got going on. See this? Gonna take a minute to adjust, but that is brighten something way up. Let's see, we'll just take something and throw it in there. This might not be the best lens to check this out, eh? But. Well, let's see if we can. It's very hard to do this right here one handed, but let's try this one. I mean, you see how bright that thing is. And it looks so much better on photo, so. I'm gonna sit here and let's see if I can't adjust this one, maybe that one, and we'll adjust this one again. All right, see if I can't do some listing while I'm waiting to make lunch. And yeah, let's go check this one out here. I love this thing. I mean, that is cool. Lotus, vintage Lotus bangle. That is cool, man. That is cool. All this stuff here needs to get listed today. So I'm just gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna jump into that. This right here is actually just what I use to put all the ivory in that I get every single week. Just put it all in here. Actually, I gotta cut this one off. But uh, yeah, if you wanna take a look really quick, this is just from the past few weeks, or actually not even a few weeks, like this one's a broken one. Matching, these all came out of this one came out of a vase, and this one came out of a vase. I think these came out of a vase. These ones were given to me the other day, along with this one, and this one as well. This one's actually pretty amazing, but see that? I can't tell if that's rhino horn, or if that's just bovine. I can't tell. I'm not up on that but these are all definitely ivory you can see the whatever marks on there yeah but name it this is all gonna go into a big old treasure chest and which will be inevitably passed down to my grandkids as a treasure hunt forever I've wanted to do that it'll be kind of like all the stuff that I either won't sell or can't sell this stuff included and let's see what else I put in there like when I was doing uh, coin roll hunting, I got a 1921D Walking Liberty, and I'll never sell that, so that'll go into this stuff as well. But again, I'm going to make, if you ever, if you ever heard of the Anarchist, uh, Anarchist Tool Chest, I'm going to make one of those except for just treasures, and that I will put up in the attic, and when I go, I'll have some sort of instructions about where to find it, and that'll be you know, my little game that I pass on, my little legacy I pass on to the grandkids. So I'm going to get to working on this, and then uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. This one right here is so cool. If you see here all the detailing right here, on the handmade links, the sterling silver. Showed this in the video too. This is just unbelievably cool. All right, next up we got this guy here, which is a Belova watch. But it is, this band is just so janky that we're going to try to pop this guy off of here. We're going to do that with this little guy here. And let's see. Quick. See if the other one goes as quickly. And it did. Look at that. And now, you have this beautiful little thing. This thing is going to get torn out. And I'm going to try to put two more of these guys in there. Okay, we got one. Okay, much better. Well, it's got a little bit of scratch on there, but that'll buff right out. 
I'm on the phone right now with eBay. It's lunchtime. Just finished up lunch. And I'm trying to resolve another issue where there was an open return. Uh, the guy never shipped it back. It's supposed to close out March 18th. It still hasn't closed out. It says I need to refund by March 30th yesterday. So still trying to figure this whole thing out. I'll let you know when I do. Alright, so I just finished up that call with eBay. And before I put this guy down, we just go over what happened. So they're going to close out the... I don't know why it didn't close out already. It should have closed out on the 18th of March, but it didn't. So they're going to close it out tomorrow. And now I'm going to get to doing some more listing, probably after I put them to bed. But here we go. This is kind of cool. I've got two of these guys. I bought these for two bucks a piece. These are house pins by Lucinda. Right there. These, these guys are awesome. So we're going to get to do that. And then I got this sterling silver charm bracelet, which I'm going to take these guys and cut off the charms because although it's cool and I love I think these are like the most underrated uh, piece of jewelry for a woman is you can like literally see a person's life through these guys here which I just find is absolutely awesome Oklahoma Tulsa this person was all over the place Deutschland um, yeah it's I mean it's just really cool absolutely awesome little cuckoo bird one all sterling silver so we're going to cut those apart, um, and then, yeah, we've got just a ton of stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to get through today, but this is the stuff I got over the past week. Hopefully he chills out. Actually, we're probably going to go put him to bed. All right, I'll uh, get to doing this, and then I'll get back at you. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to, there's a storm coming in, so i got to go out and uh, get some garbage cans in. But I think I'm done. I might list some stuff and try to get through this video. But other than that, I am done for the day, and I will see you tomorrow.